Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Vagamaradian here in Tampa, Florida, where we're covering the National Defense Industrial Association's annual SOFIC Conference, one of the world's leading gatherings of special operators and the industries that serve them. Our coverage here is sponsored by FLIR Systems. Last week, while in Washington, we covered an event with Army Secretary Mark Esper at the Center for a New American Security, where he discussed the service's modernization priorities. After his presentation, we caught up with Esper at a press conference and asked him for his priorities in reforming the Army's talent management system. It's hard to pick one because I think it's going to take a combination of things that uh, we've talked about in successive meetings. So what, first of all, what is our philosophy of a of a career timeline for both an officer and enlisted what are the process processes by which we think we can we can we, we should change in order to accommodate uh, again a different approach so for example allowing folks more folks to take sabbaticals maybe uh, allowing to easily come in and out of the army or move between components those types of things uh, there's the technology piece I mentioned IPSA IPSA promises to give us one platform where we can not only do an individual's pay and leave and that type of stuff, but also uh, include their career on there and their their, their talent and, and how you do that. And we're seeing we have a program right now. It's called AIM or AIM Two, where we're we're actually creating a marketplace to do that. So there's the philosophy, there's processes, there's tools, and uh, there's other things we need to consider because what we want to do is rather than uh, every peg fits every hole, we want to we want to be much more discreet in terms of how we marry marry up an individual and what they bring to the table with regard to the needs of the Army. And that means on the needs side, the requirements side, we need to be more specific about what we're looking for, not just you know, an airborne, you know, airborne ranger qualified infantry officer. Uh, uh, we need to be more descriptive about what we want for all the jobs in the Army, and we need to be able for the individual to tell us what he or she looks like in terms of their knowledge, skills, and behaviors, and we can better marry up, uh, again, to get a more productive solution. Thank you.